Hello, welcome to the next Neurosurgeons video. In this video, we're gonna talk about some of the common instruments which we use in our neurosurgery operating theater. That's Mohammed behind the camera. I'm Adi. This is the Neurosurgeons channel. This is the only place where you can find two neurosurgeons talking to you about everything about the brain and spine. So, as we said today, we'll show you some of the most important neurosurgical instruments. Uh, we'll start with this one. It's a glove, as you can see. Everyone knows that. I wear a size 8 because my fingers are long. So, <laughs> but you have to put this, so assume that I'm going into the uh, theater, then I have to put this in a specific way. So, I have to open this. Definitely, I wouldn't be wearing my watch. Then, I'll just put this in. It's not the perfect way, to be honest, because I would be wearing my scrubs on top of that. Then we're ready to go. So I'll start with this one, which is a retractor, which basically opens up and closes, and that helps us to, once we open the skin, we just open it up, so that opens the surgical field for us. Next is this instrument, which is called the Kerosene. Sometimes we call it upcut, which as you can see, it opens up and closes, and that helps us to nibble the bone. We can use it in the uh, head or in the spine and just helps us to take the bone off, which will expose the surgical field for us. Next on the table, as you can see, there's a big thing here. This is called a Mayfield, which is basically, we use it to fix the patient head. Again, we have Bob the Brain again here. So if we put this here, that will fix Bob head because the last thing that you want to have in a neurosurgery operation, having the patient's head moving. So that fixes his head in place and we fix the head onto the table. I will leave Bob and his brain here. Then I will move next to these instruments here. So this one is a small instrument. We call it a nerve root retractor, which as you can see, it has an angled piece which if we have a nerve root, we can put it here, and just pull it away so that we don't injure the nerve root while we're doing the operation. So we have this one, which is called the Watson chain, which as you can see, it has a kind of pointy tip here and another one which is more rounded. And that basically helps us to dissect around the tissues. Then we have this mysterious one. Probably all of you know this one. It's just a scissor basically. Then something similar, which is basically helps us to hold the objects, which something like that. And then we have this, which gets connected through these two little pieces here to a machine, which basically helps us to control any bleeding. So once we put this on a bleeding point, and then we put it like this, and press on the bedel that creates an electrical current which basically stops the bleeding from the blood vessels. Next is one of the most important instruments in neurosurgery, which you can see here, it's called the drill. And as you can see, this drill is connected to a piece here, which is the drill bit, which helps us to drill through the patient's head and the bone. I'll just turn this on now. That's moving. And you can see the difference. There are two different parts of this, which looks different and we use it in different parts of the operation. Then we have two screws here. And these are basically the screws that we put in the patient's spine, where we're doing an operation to fix the spine. These are the screws that goes into their spine. We just screw it and we use an X-ray and the anatomical landmarks in the patient's spine just to put it in the right place. This is how it looks like. Finally, we have this one, which is basically an ICP. An ICP refers to intracranial pressure monitor, which basically this connects into a monitor. And this little piece here is very, basically a high-tech thing which goes into the patient brain or just put it in Bob the brain head and then will give us a reading of the um, Bob's 
intracranial pressure, and that will help us to guide the treatment if we think that his intracranial pressure is high, then we give him the treatment needed or do an operation to reduce that pressure. So this little thing helps us to do that. So I hope you enjoyed the only video on the internet with two neurosurgeons taking you through the instruments they use day to day in theatre. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, tell us what you liked. It helps us improve the content that we make and it gives us that boost to keep going. See you in the next one.